Hey guys and welcome to my newbie tutorial series for Fistful of Frags. It's going to be more freeform than the movement tutorials and I'll just add more videos to it when I have more things that I want to talk about. This video is going to briefly cover some of the weapons in the game, what they can do, how to get them and the basics of using them effectively. To make the video more digestible I've split it up into parts, but without further ado let's get right into it. First up is the bow, it's available as a starting weapon in shootout and elimination modes for 4 stars and it's cost in team play and break bad varies depending on the map. Usually it's around 30 bucks. To shoot the bow, hold down the right mouse button to pull back the string and then click the left button to fire. If you hold down the right button for longer, the arrow will deal more damage and travel farther, and the damage increases as the arrow flies, so farther away opponents will take more damage. A headshot is an instant kill at any range, but it usually takes 2 or 3 body shots to take down an enemy. The bow grants 11 points for a kill and can frag almost instantly, but because of the slow fire rate and movement speed, it's very hard to get the hang of, so be careful with this one when you're starting out. The hatchet is available as a starting weapon in shootout and elimination for 4 stars, or 5 in 12 slot maps, and it costs $20 in break battle team play. You can also find it in the blue chest in shootout and elimination. The hatchet grants the fastest movement speed in the game and will kill in 3 body shots or 2 headshots. You can also right click to throw the axe which can also get headshots, but be very careful if you do this because other players can pick up your axe off the ground. The hatchet is very effective in close quarters, especially when paired with kicking or a light gun, but be careful on open spaces or against players with powerful guns because you need to get to point blank range to realistically deal damage. And don't forget you can carry as many hatchets as you want. The Sword of Shotgun is available as a starting weapon in shootout and elimination for 4 stars and it costs $30 in team play and break bad. The Sword of has 2 shots that reload together which fire a bunch of pallets that each do a small amount of damage. They can get headshots and at close range you can deal over 70 damage per shot with a well aimed headshot. The spread on this weapon is pretty harsh so it's most effective at close range but make sure to stand still or walk when you shoot or the spread will get even worse. Don't forget that the Sword of can slow down your enemies so if you're using multiple guns you might want to shoot them with this one first so that they're easier to hit with your other weapons. The Navy is available as a starting weapon in shootout and elimination for 3 stars and it costs $25 in team play and break bad. It's a light all rounder revolver with decent accuracy and decent damage. Headshots do around about 70 damage and body shots do around about 40 and you can hold down the right mouse button to fan the hammer and shoot quickly but inaccurately. At close range this is a great way to panic spray or quickly deal damage to multiple opponents, but usually you should be standing or walking and aiming through the head with this gun. It works well in a lot of situations and is a great and easy weapon to start with if you want to get the hang of the pistols in this game. The Volcanic Pistol is available as a starting weapon in shootout and elimination for 3 stars and it costs $20 in team play and break bad. The Volcanic is a 9 shot repeating pistol that does less damage per shot than the Navy but has a faster fire rate and more shots to boot. It can be fanned as well but you gain negligible fire rate for a very sharp drop and accuracy and damage so I don't recommend it. The Volcanic is a wonderful tool to have with you during group fights due to the extra shots and dual wielding them lets you spray heaps of fire shots and quickly whittle down your opponent's health. The Mary's Leg is available as a starting weapon in shooter and elimination for 5 stars and it costs $35 in team play and break bad. It's an 8 shot sword of rifle that works more or less like a pistol and boasts lots of super high damage shots in exchange for low accuracy and low fire rate. At close range a headshot will kill an opponent instantly and 2 body shots is usually enough to frag an opponent as well. If you're not confident in your aim you can fan this gun too but if your aim is good then it's more effective to just headshot instead. The Mirror's Leg is a bit more expensive than the other starting weapons, but it's a good option for skilled players looking to dominate at close range. In Shooter and Elimination you can pick a Daring as a primary weapon, a secondary weapon or both, but it costs 2 stars to pick as a primary and 5 to pick as a secondary. In Break Bad and Elimination it costs $10. The Daringer is super cheap, super light and super crap, it only has 2 shots, does bad damage and isn't accurate at all. With two of them you can hold your own in a one on one fight but this gun is better used as a sidearm paired with something else. Since it costs 5 stars as a secondary you can pair it with any of the primaries in free for shootout so you can give yourself a bit more firepower to complement your hatchet or your mirror's leg or whatever else you like to use. In team play you can grab one or two of them if you want to save money for a round and buy better guns next time but don't expect to be able to hold your own with a daringer against people who have real weapons. That's all for this video, in part 2 I'll cover the secondaries and the blue chest weapons, so stay tuned for that and have a good one.